with our graphics card we have a Asus NVIDIA card um, part number is going to be off to the side because I don't have the box in front of me and I'll misquote it off the top of my head um, you have the graphics card the uh, HDMI audio cable you can basically plug this guy up to your sound card or your um, motherboard and you can transfer the audio from your system to the graphics card we're not doing that um, because I find that the HDMI audio thing is usually uh, something my customers can't support and usually when you do that uh, it go ahead and it just pulls it completely from the motherboard and you can't have it at all it's bloody annoying uh, so I just don't do it um, but I do give them the cable so if they want to do it they can do it down the road this little thing I want to show you this because not many cards come with it this is if you had a low profile system you can see uh, basically the height of this guy compared to the rest of the case uh, it's pretty much on the shorter side and if you had a low profile system uh, like some of those um, Dells uh, you need to put that in there um, for it to work uh, or fit in there I should say so you basically would take your um, panel off of this the shielding panel you got a screw right there in the middle and you usually have to undo these um, hex nuts as well standoffs and uh, take that off this panel will separate you see there's a little ribbon cable for the VGA connector you basically feed in there put the nuts back on there um, put the screw back on for that and you're good to go and then of course we have documentation um, the graphics card multi-language manual which is pretty much useless because it tells you how to install this thing that's what I'm showing you now and the VGA graphics card driver we're going to get the latest off of um, Asus website but this will be with the customer as well so if he ever wants it he's got it and then the setup manuals which tell you how to connect this crazy thing um, it's pretty straightforward he can keep those as well if he ever wants them so that's it we're going to go ahead and start installing this thing in the case here we're going to put this in the first PCIe slot which is this blue guy here and that means we're going to have to remove this panel single Phillips screw undo it and slide this metal panel up and out and then we can put this card in okay we got our card we got our slot open that only took a couple seconds and we want to go through and line it up which is pretty hard to do because I can only see one thing at a time it's hard to look at the camera and then back at this now you can see it's pretty much lined up there nice and good all along the side and then we have alignment here sometimes you go through and put these in an optical illusion will make it look like you need one slot but you need the other just make sure your slots are correct um, before you try and force anything so I got that side in there just had to kinda ease that down so it starts lining up and it's just a matter of well pushing it down that's it just push it down with two fingers um, some of these have a heat sink that wraps over um, unfortunately you do have to press on that those are usually glued on with thermal epoxy so don't use too much force because you may break them uh, and as you can see this is a common problem when you put these graphics cards in is that it ends up with this little bit of misalignment there So what you have to do if you have this uh, misalignment is you got to kind of push the card just a little bit and then put your screw in with the other hand, kind of thread it in a little bit, then use a screwdriver and put it in. The cause of this is at the other end, I wish I'd shown you before I put it in, um, at the end of this bracket, maybe I can show you on the... Uh, no, I can kind of show you on this one, it's not there much. Um, see how that has a slight bend to it 
Um, some of the graphics card has more of a bend. See how it's nice and straight, and then you got this bend at the end. Well, that bend at the end goes actually into the case um, to help secure it from, you know, you pull things in and out. It kind of acts as a bit of stabilization, yada, yada, yada. Um, some of these, that bend is a lot more severe, and usually with these style cases, it is. So, if it's really bad where it's just sticking out horrifically, um, one, double check to make sure you did put the card in right, that it is fully seated, there's no cocked up corners. You can do that by looking down here. You're not going to be able to see it because of the lighting, I apologize. Um, I've done my best as I can on this lighting here, but there we go. Um, you would see the metal contacts of the card exposed. If you don't see any of those metal contacts, it means it's in as good as you're going to get it. So, like I said, you have to use a little bit of pressure, just your thumb, just a little bit of a push, hardly anything at all, put the screw in, and your card is physically installed.